Yes, yes. 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 on the cross. That's not fair! <laughs> we've, uh, we've got a full house here tonight, if you look around you. I think we'd have to put everybody on Weight Watchers to get any more people in here tonight. So, uh, yeah, so we'll leave, leave a bit of space for tomorrow, but if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you might just about get in tomorrow as well. Pretty fucking damned cool, actually, if you could say that. Well, we got the best and the brightest of the metal community here tonight from Southern California, I can see. And as you can gather from the, uh, the icebergs and the snow and the ice and all the rest of it, we're doing a lot of stuff tonight off the Seventh Sun of a Seventh Sun album. Right? If any of you uh, start to feel a little bit chilly, down the back there. Just hang on, because we'll be setting off an awful lot of fires of hell shortly uh, with our pyros and stuff. Warming us all up a little bit. And uh, we'll be doing a few tunes off the very, the very first Iron Maiden album for you tonight as well. One or two of you might have heard them, one or two of you may not actually have witnessed these. Hey, it's all cool. This, this next song is a little bit out of period, uh, but we're playing it, well, because we can really, and because we like it. Uh, kind of a serious song, really. It's, it's about a soldier who, uh, no particular side, actually, you know, could be, could be wearing the white hat, could be wearing the black hat, you know, we don't really care. Because at the end of the day, he's probably got a wife and kids to go home to, and he probably wants to come out of it alive, just like we all do. He's out there in the desert on his first mission and he's sitting there at dawn looking over the barrel of his rifle thinking in a minute somebody's going to walk over that hill who I have nothing personal against him. He has a wife and kids just like me and my job is to pull the trigger and finish his life forever. And it's about the doubts and all the stuff that's going through his mind and basically at the end of the day, whether or not he is in fact afraid to shoot strangers. Yeah. 